welcome you all to the webinar this morning, and thank you for joining us. Today we have Jeff Broadwick with BitLamat presenting the webinar. If you have any questions, please input them in the question box, and Jeff will answer them at the conclusion of the webinar. At or or we'll try to answer them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll do his best. And I'm going to go ahead and give the reins over to Jeff here. And I hope everybody enjoys. Thanks, Crystal, and uh, thanks to Microcom for, for putting this on. Uh, we love doing the, the webinars, and uh, it's just a, it's a great way to communicate to a, a number of people with, uh, with one, one shot. So anyway, jump right in here. Um, if you haven't heard of us, BitLamat is uh, the easy, low-cost uh, alternative for fixed wireless. Um, if you were around a little bit, we used to say easy, low-cost alternative for WISPs, but um, what we found is that uh, being a easy, low-cost alternative for WISPs also made us a tremendous uh, um, resource for uh, any fixed wireless application that we've run into, particularly video. Um, Bitlamat's a made-up name. We had a little fun with it. Uh, it's the Internet's ambassador, one who is tactful and skillful in managing powerful networks, handling data, and bringing every last bit of the Internet to new parts of the world. That actually really is what we're trying to do. We want to we, we want to make it uh, so um, just about anywhere that uh, that is not currently getting um, internet has the ability to do so, uh, either through our products or you know somebody else's. Um, the easy low cost alternative. What's easy? We try to make it easy to install. Um, it's basically set up so that I could do it, which says a lot because I'm the dumb sales guy. Uh, easy to configure. I've also configured them. Easy to manage. I don't really manage them, but uh, we try to we try to make that easy. And then uh, easy to purchase. Uh, available at Microcom and other fine retailers. The uh, <coughs> Bitlamat 100 CPE, the MSRP is $89. Um, the uh, uh, 200 uh, MSRP is 229, and that does include a shielded backplane, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit. That picture is of the Bitlamat 100, which can be used for um, either uh, CPE or a very point-to-point uh, -point link or a very small, uh, very small AP network. Um, what differentiates this? The, if you've had a chance to touch the handle the gear, uh, it really is a superior fit and finish to other things we see out there. Um, we integrated the metal backplate on the uh, on the sectors. We also uh, shielded the CPUs, excuse me, on both the, the sectors and on the uh, CPE to avoid the uh, Verizon co-location inter interference problem they had with LTE. Um, superior performance in, in dirty RF environments, we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, about twice the packet throughput, actually we're uh, going to be closing in on about three times the packet throughput of uh, similarly, pr similarly priced products. Uh, easy to set CL, uh, SLAs and we support well, multiple SSIDs. There's also a um, little testimonial over here from a gentleman who started using the gear. It's closing in on a year, I guess it's uh, probably more like uh, two-thirds of a year at this point. Applications, again, just about anything you could use a fixed wireless product for. Uh, we're terrific for WISPs. Uh, we are getting more and more into the video surveillance and video transmit, uh, anything that transmits video, H HD video, uh, because that's so bandwidth in intensive. So uh, that's, a, that's a really nice, uh, really nice application and virtually any other, any other type of uh, wireless application. This, uh, this is a little busy, but it just kind of shows we really didn't dumb down the CPE. Uh, it uses the same software, so you have uh, have the ability to do all the same things virtually, uh, just on a on a lower scale. Um, Thirty degree uh, antenna width for uh, the the uh, CPEs and ninety to one hundred and twenty for the sector. We we spec it as a ninety. You lose about uh, seven dB out out at the edges if you try to go one hundred and twenty. And back to the bitmap bitlamat one hundred. Um, one of the things we did here just recently with the most uh, most recent software version is we added port bonding to the uh, to, to the um, to the software release. Um, there are two 10100 ports on there, which meant that you know in a short point-to-point -point link, you were pretty much maxed out at, a, at you know something under just under 100 megs in either direction. Now uh, we're still uh, the the top limit's still in the you know. 190, high 190 range, but you can go more than 100 meg in one direction. So if you've got an application where you need, say, 120 or 130 in one direction, maybe 20, 30 in the other direction, you're able to do that in a $89 per end link, which is 
pretty outstanding if we do say so ourselves. The Bitlamat 200, um, <clears throat> again, the, the, the fit and finish on this is terrific. The metal back plate um, is designed for the antenna and the enclosure and is extremely efficient, has a 50 to 1 front to back ratio. The, uh, it, and sports uh, really, 30 to 50 CPs is probably the, the, the sweet spot for the, for the uh, access point. And uh, you could probably go a little higher than that uh, if, if you had, uh, you know, had to in a in particular application, but it's, uh, we, we really are kind of hanging the, our hat on 30 to 50. Easy installation. Uh, you don't have to bolt a radio onto it. It's, uh, it, it's a, you know, nice uh, two screws. You, you know, put the, the wind, uh, uh, sorry, hit the wrong button. Uh, put the, uh, the, the ethernet cable in, pop it back, pop the uh, cover back on and bolt it onto whatever you're bolting it onto. Um, Ambassador is our is our um, name for our web-based management software. As you can see here, you can operate in four different modes: base station, CP, home router, or point-to-point -point link. And that's uh, you'll see that if you're on either of the either of the platforms. Uh, these are five gigahertz radios, by the way. Uh, we're working on two four, but uh, that is not available today. This is what it looks like. Actually, I think I think this is an addition or two back. Uh, there's probably a few more things on here uh, on this particular on this particular uh, place in the in the software at this point. But uh, it, it's it's set up to be very usable with a smartphone. You can you can move your finger back and forth and turn the turn the uh, things on and off and and uh, you know use it use a smartphone to do virtually anything you can use a computer for. Uh, it's very powerful, and we've tried to make it as easy easy to use as possible. And actually, that's one of the comments we've gotten back. It is very easy to use. This is another uh, another screenshot. Uh, by the way, there is on our website a uh, live point-to-point <coughs> -point link that you can log into, you can play around with. Uh, you can't apply any changes, but that's about the only thing you can't do. And you can see all these things for yourself. Uh, it's on bitlamat.com. Just showing the you know the different different uh, options. Uh, the frequencies are based on the country you're in. Um, the United States, obviously, we're limited to the 5758 range right now. We are working on uh, DFS, but uh, that is not available today. One thing we just added in the in the last release uh, also was a spectrum analyzer. So you have that built in. Uh, just click up at the top where where you have the base. You know, you determining the type of um, uh, Setup you're going to use, uh, and, and you have access to the the spectrum analyzer, which is a really nice feature. Passport uh, never let a single bit travel without it. As you can tell, the marketing people got a hold of that one. Um, it is a point to multi point TDMA based protocol. Uh, it's uh, we run actually. I'm sorry, that's that's incorrect. Right now, about twenty eight thousand packets per second, and uh, it's about thirty thousand if you have it turned off. And then with the Next iteration of our software, with a, when we jump to a, a newer version of Linux, newer kernel, um, we expect uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 with uh, 35, 38 with the uh, TDMA on, and about 40 with it turned off in CSMA mode. Support for service level agreements. This is something our, our competitors really don't do, and, and it's so easy to do. You, you just go in. You can set up as many service level agreement service level. Uh, service levels as you would like per, uh, you, you know, you can have more per customer, that doesn't make, make sense, but you can have, uh, if you want to set up uh, 10 and 4 for one customer and 2 and 1 for, for another customer, you have the ability to do that. You can also set uh, minimum uh, throughput, so if, uh, if you have a <clears throat> some sort of a crisis in your network and you have a customer that no matter what needs a meg in either direction, you can set it so that if that's available that they have first access to it and then it's available to anybody else if they're not using it. We also support uh, uh, email notification in case the device fails or degrades. Under the hood, <coughs> um, if you are a uh, Linux geek, you can uh, drop, you can uh, log in uh, and to the command line. Um, that in doing that, you can access. Uh, we we added uh, Quagga. If for whatever reason you needed OSPF or BGP, you could uh, you could access that. There's some other things. Most of the things we can do through the GUI, but uh, but you can you can get to those uh, advanced routing features through uh, through the command line. Uh, VLAN support and the SSIDs are available through the the web GUI, and uh, eight SSIDs are something that uh, our primary competitor does not offer. 
uh, biggest benefits, it's easy and performs. Um, WISPs are, 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 are were our initial target, but what we found is that uh, they're, they're a great uh, opportunity for us, but there's an awful lot more uh, fixed wireless applications out there that we can help. Uh, high profit networks, more dollars per tower or, or high point or wherever you, wherever you wind up putting your, your uh, access point. Uh, we're getting more distance. They, it, in all these, we're, we're up against comparably priced products. So, uh, so think, uh, you know, 89 and 229 in, in these things. We're getting more distance between the CP and base station, uh, more CPs per, uh, per access, po access point, and uh, more CPs per base station. And, uh, and because of the ability to uh, do things like uh, easily setting uh, quality of service on voice and, and uh, video, uh, and being able to offer service level agreements, you're able to you're able to uh, charge more and get more per customer. Again, uh, we have the higher uh, dB uh, CP, and uh, it's a it's really a better antenna system than than what we've seen out there uh, in the in the com in the uh, price range that we're offering. Um, getting a little bit more distance out of the the panel CPs. Again, um, we're able to. Uh, I'm sorry. They, these these numbers. We just we just updated our, our presentation today, and I, I think we uh, wound up with some older stuff in here too. Uh, the CSMA is 30,000 packets per second, and TDMA is about 28,000 packets per second. And <clears throat> you can do if you if you have a short point-to-point -point link or a very very limited point-to-multipoint, say a one one uh, base station and a couple of CPEs in a in a short distances, you can do actually upward of uh, of about uh, almost the entire, you could almost saturate both ways on, on the 100 megs. The uh, radio is actually faster than the onboard Ethernet ports. Um, shielding, again, I, I, I mentioned we shielded the back, plant, back plates, uh, back of the access point, so you don't have to have a third-party product. Um, that saves about 100 bucks uh, an AP. And we also uh, shielded the uh, CPUs so you don't wind up with, uh, with a, an interference problem. I mentioned selling the uh, the premium services with guaranteeing service level agreement. This this was really cool. Um, this was last year sometime. Um, Jaime Salarza and his uh, partner um, got some Bitlamat gear. They the only thing they did was they took down a um, uh, a sector that begins with the letter U and <laughs> and replaced it with a uh, with, with a Bitlamat 200. There's, uh, there's other APs, there was lots of interference. They initially migrated uh, 20 clients over. They now have 47 on that. All they did was swap out the, C, swap out the access point. And they doubled their throughput and decreased their latency. And I think the latency was probably a result of the shielding, but, uh, but we're also running about twice the, twice the speed. They're running in CSMA mode, so they're, they're not even getting the benefit of our TDMA uh, protocol. So uh, it's, a, it's, a really, uh, it's a really nice, uh, uh, application and it shows the just the power of our of our access point. One uh, one thing that was really cool is after they after they installed this, <clears throat> the they had a client call didn't know they'd made any changes, but uh, thanked them because they were able to watch uh, able to watch movies and and Skype at the same time with their uh, their son serving in Afghanistan. And uh, there's a gentleman out in, uh, well, a number of companies, but Xperia Networks uh, out in uh, the Mojave Desert. And they have had some gear up. I think they're approaching, like I said, about two-thirds of a year. And you can read these. I'm not, <laughs> I try not, really hard not to read slides. Um, but uh, the, the, the long and the short of it is that they have a, they have a early version of our software. The uptime on at least one of the radios is... Uh, is basically since they put it in, it was like 270 days or something like that. And then, uh, you know, this is in a very, very hot climate, and uh, and it's uh, operated quite well without any without any hiccups. Uh, they have very high end customers on these, and they're really, really happy with how uh, how how they work, including how the how it handles uh, voice and video. And then uh, on the on the other side of the country, uh, here's a, a customer that actually was probably he probably put up gear first, and it was uh, over a year ago. Um, he put up some gear, and uh, there's a, a review here. They uh, they, they have uh, both the temperature fluctuations, and they also have um, 
the, of course, the, the salt and the sea air, and it, the, uh, the gear has worked uh, exceptionally well for, like I said, well over a year, or just over a year. And that's uh, that's the end of our end of our slideshow. And uh, if there are any questions or any comments, I'd be happy to uh, to take those. All right, let's review these questions. I'm gonna. Yep. All right. Well, you mentioned a. Uh, Two four gigahertz radio. Mm -hmm. When will that be available? Um, I don't have a I don't have a release date yet. Um, the The goal was to get that done this year. I'm not sure if, if that's going to happen at this point, but the, it it's uh, it's virtually ready to go. Um, it's just a matter of getting you know may, you know, pulling the trigger and doing it. Okay, perfect. Um, next question: What is your best selling product and why? Well, we only have two. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's pretty, it would be the it would be the Bell one hundred because the, you'd use more of those uh, for a network, but uh, it, it's it's the it's the the combination of the two. All right, and let's see, we have one more. And if I can, Chris, I think I can just also go for it. Um, this this is David Coleman. He's. I uh, just add my. Uh, I don't I don't know that you were introduced, David. Let, let, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, David is our is our marketing. marketing. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm David Coleman, and as you can tell, I'm anxious to tell you I'm the uh, the marketing lead at Bitlabat. And uh, to to answer a little bit more directly the question about why we think um, you know our our CPEs or our access points are are selling compared to our competitors, um, I you know I'd point to some of the reviews that were at the end, and if you had a chance to read them off the screen you'd see a, a real enthusiasm from our customers about how reliable the product is, how easy it is to set up, and how they're, they're finding that even on more expensive options, their product, their other options out there aren't performing any better uh, or even as good as ours. Um, and, and I think that's really what it comes down to is that uh, while, albeit we're a little unknown, we're, we're in our first few years of being uh, on the market here, um, for, for those that have been trying us, they've been very excited by uh, getting their hands on a product at a good price that simply is, is able to be set up and, and run without too much configuration that's needed. For the power users out there who really want to get into the, uh, the, the, the under the hood stuff, all that those tools are available to them. Uh, but quite simply, it's a product that is inexpensive, it works really well, and it, it's very, very reliable. Whether you're in tough conditions from an uh, environmental standpoint, an RF standpoint, uh, you know, if your customers are, are highly demanding, uh, you'll find Bitlimat to, to really be a reliable, high-performing solution at a great price. One one thing I also neglected to mention, and we probably added to the slide, uh, is we we are uh, we do have support available. Uh, it will be a billable service at some point, but as of right now, it is something we are including for free with our with uh, our gear. So you have access to real engineers um, and on a both email and call in basis. Fantastic. Uh, that I guess answered the next question, which is what was your main selling point. Um, so it looks like that's all the questions. So thank you, Jeff and David. Um, thank you, everybody, for attending the webinar. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to contact us at sales at microcomtech, M-I-C-R-O-C-O-M-P-E-C dot com. Or if you wish to view any of the products mentioned here today, you can visit us at www.microcom.us or contact your salesperson. And the webinar will also be posted on Microcom Technologies' YouTube channel for later review. Thank you, everybody. I hope everybody has a great day. You too. Thanks much.